In the last two lessons, we followed steps one to four in our general strategy, and we generated the following discussion points. In this lesson, we'll take these discussion points and use them to write an essay. Now, as you prepare for the analytical writing session, it's crucial that you develop an essay template for each essay type. The template I'll suggest here for the argument essay is just one option. Feel free to create your own. Just keep in mind that all essays should follow the same basic approach. Begin by telling readers what you're going to say. Then tell them what you want to say. And finally, end your essay by reminding readers what you just told them. So given this, here's one possible template to consider. Your introductory paragraph will have the following elements. Begin by paraphrasing the argument and stating that it is flawed. By paraphrasing the argument, you're showing the reader that you understand the basic structure of the argument. From here, the remaining sentences will generalize the main flaws, so that later, each flaw will be the subject of its own paragraph. Given all of this, we might write something like the following. Great, the reader now knows exactly where this essay is headed. Following the introductory paragraph, the next two to four paragraphs will be devoted to the flaws you've identified, with one paragraph per flaw. Each of these paragraphs will begin by stating the flaw and elaborating if necessary. Now from here, I'm going to list several possible things you might include in a middle paragraph. However, it's unlikely that you'd ever address all of these points in one paragraph. I'll explain what I mean by that in a moment. So, once you've stated the flaw that will serve as the topic for the paragraph, you can state the underlying assumption and indicate why the assumption is flawed. You can use examples and or analogies that illustrate the flaw. You can identify other possible explanations and or conclusions in the argument. Identify what extra information is needed to evaluate the conclusion and indicate how this extra information would help evaluate the conclusion. Now, as I said, these are just options. The items that you choose to write about will depend on the type of instructions that accompany the given argument. So, for example, if the instructions fall in the extra evidence needed category, then your emphasis should be on these two points, along with any other points you feel match up with the given flaw. If, on the other hand, the instructions fall in the assumptions and roles category, then your emphasis should be on these points, along with any other points you feel are relevant. And finally, if the instructions fall in the other explanations category, then your emphasis should be on this point, along with any other relevant points. Finally, once you've explored the flaw in great detail, you can wrap up the paragraph by restating the flaw and potentially noting how it affects the argument. So given all of this, here's one possible paragraph. All right, once you've written one or two more paragraphs concerning other flaws, you're ready for the last paragraph. Now this paragraph need not be very long. You just want to remind the reader of your main points and indicate that you've reached the end of your essay. For this template, we'll begin by explaining how the argument can be strengthened. The points you mention here will be related to some of the extra information that you identified earlier to help evaluate the conclusion. Finally, the last sentence of the paragraph should remind readers that in its current form, the argument is flawed. So we might write something like this. Okay, so that's pretty much it. One possible argument essay can look like the one we just examined, or you can create your own. Just be sure to develop a template well before test day. Now on a final note, it's important to remind you that all possible essay prompts for the argument essay can be found on the GRE website. So be sure to browse these prompts and practice writing some essays.